It's a bit unnerving to search a name and in the first group of results read the title Racist Teen Forced to Answer for Tweets About <laughs> President. In 2012, Lou LaDonna made a mistake. He was a senior at West Islip High School and on the football team. Those details about him are in that article, in the context of a regrettable decision. And they'll always be there, connecting him, his history, and his future to that bad decision. The European Union has a solution for problems like this. It's generally referred to as the right to be forgotten. Requests can be submitted to search engines that remove yourself from search results. In late February 2018, Google revealed that it had received 2.4 million delisting requests and had fulfilled 43% of them. Not every request qualifies, of course, but we're just now beginning to see the data for these actions. For example, 89% of the requests were from private individuals. There's no legal counterpart in the United States. California does have a law referred to as the eraser button. This law makes it possible for adults to remove posts from websites they made as minors. The benefits of this type of law reach beyond deleting embarrassing teenage posts, however. For example, information from Facebook is being used more and more in divorce cases. If you're looking for a job, employers can easily search through your social feeds and other posts to see what type of employee you may be. The legality of these kinds of searches are ambiguous and obviously difficult to restrict. These examples all refer to a user controlling the information they share after it's been put out there. But what about when someone says something about you that you don't want the world to know? Even if it's true, should you have the right to prevent the details of your life from spreading online? Once it's online, it's practically permanent, and there's no logistically possible way to remove that information. The most effective solution would be to have it removed from search results. But that leads us down a path that could have significant ramifications. In July 2011, Anders Breivik bombed government offices in Oslo and then killed 69 people on a nearby island, most of them children. Anders had published a manifesto online describing his intent. After the massacre, due to an unidentified complainant, news stories referencing the manifesto had been removed for search results. The historical and sociological significance of the articles are diminished, practically gone. The lessons the past could teach us about the future are effectively, well, forgotten. In February 2018, a 19-year-old shot and killed 17 people in a Florida high school. The FBI had received word about his intention, inferred from disturbing social media posts, but they didn't investigate. An opportunity was missed. Are we able to learn from the past if it can effectively be erased? These are important, difficult questions we shouldn't shy away from. It's important to protect your online persona and, like a credit history, understand how the internet sees you. It may also be the best defense you have for your privacy while still keeping information accessible. So what can you do? Well, Yahoo Finance offers five suggestions. One, Google yourself and see what comes up. While Googling yourself, check the autocomplete, type in your name and see how Google finishes the search phrase. That will give you important insights. Next, check your social settings. Are your privacy settings appropriate? And periodically, Redo these searches and definitely recheck your privacy settings. Finally, create your own website or blog that says the things you want to say and contribute your voice so you're not forgotten. Thanks for your time.